Hello and welcome to a quick server update video. So I've got to tell you today that it has it is the official release of the new bucket server. Don't worry, the ticket server is still up, the IP is exactly the same. There's just one change to this bucket server which I'll need to warn you about to ensure that you don't run into any problems. So basically when you open up Minecraft, this is the default Minecraft client, I'm just running a different texture pack. Um, which I like, I think it's called Summer Fields. You can go check it out, hopefully. It's quite a nice texture pack, actually. So you go to Multiplayer in your usual Minecraft client and you type in the usual IP from Techit. Um, but there's one thing you need to do because it's not running on the default port, you need to add in a colon and then the port number after it. So it's just one higher than the typical port, which is 25565. It's 25566. So you've typed that in, you must make sure you type this in, otherwise. Um, it will probably try and connect you to the tech itself from the default Minecraft client, which most likely you'll get an error. Um, so let's go ahead and join the server. I'm hoping it'll work this time because I had a few problems connecting a second ago. Um, saying something about a bad login, but I think that was just me. Um, anyway, I'm getting a very weird kind of glitchy thing with like Minecraft and Ticket lately. Um, yeah, kind of not, not low FPS, but kind of, yeah, just... I'm not sure how to describe it, um, jittering, juttering or something when it's like, stuttering is probably the better word for it, when it's like randomly stuttering. It's like constant FPS, but then it's like reporting fine FPS, but then I'm getting like stutters and stuff. I'm not sure what that is, um, but it's very annoying whatever it is, because it hasn't been like this before, so I don't know if it's something I've done when my computer needs to restart or something. Um, it's probably got to be eye for those things. Anyway, um, You've, you've seen most of the stuff on the server anyway, because I did do a video on that. Um, effectively, we've got all the plugins that I think we need now. If you think, can think of any more, please do not hesitate to tell me, because we can get them installed as soon as possible. Um, we've got anti-grief, which I think I demonstrated in my previous video. And that works a charm, actually. Creep damage, TNT damage is no longer a problem. The only problem is, is that obviously you have to wait for an op to correct it for you, which is the one problem. Um, so yeah, all in all it would be easy just to disconnect that anyway um, just get rid of TNT as a whole anyway we do have bucket essentials as well which I've set up permissions reasonably well for i.e. mail box now works so you can have slash mail um, so you can read and send mail and it also has that welcome message saying like type help so I'm an op obviously so I get all this but when you log in you'll probably have a list of the commands you can use um, which are probably considerably less than what an op can. At least I hope they are. Um, because otherwise you can go around nuking everybody and blowing up stuff. Which, although I trust you guys, I know some of you or some people who would join, probably the first thing they'll do is think, oh look, I can um, blow up stuff. I can do all this. Let's blow it up because it's funny. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too funny for the people who have spent ages building stuff. And it's very annoying for the server owner because it's it's just very annoying because I have to like repair all of it. I have to like say, oh sorry, it's me who's um, caused the problem with the server and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching this video guys and I hope it gave you an insight into the new server. You can join it as soon as you like because it should be on and up and running. Uh, so thanks for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on the server soon. See you then.